Hi, this is lesson number 9 from our Photoshop training series. In this exercise, we are going to learn about healing brush tool, spot healing brush and patch tool. In my screen, you can see one image. This type of image you can download from the Google or if you have some old picture in your home, you can just take a photo with your mobile or scan it, save in your computer, open up in Photoshop and you can use for practice. In this image, you can see there is some scratches in the background and there is some damages on the face. It's a simple and light repair and I think it's the best image for beginners to understand the functionality of that tools. In my toolbox, spot healing brush is selected. If I will click and hold, here we can see the healing brush tool, spot healing brush and patch tool. We will make comparison between clone stamp tool and healing brush tool. We learned about clone stamp tool in our previous lesson. Let's select the functionality of the clone stamp tool is it will take the sample from one specific area and copy it to the destination as it is. In our image here we have dark area and here we have light. If we want we can create new layer for that. And if you are going to clone in new layer make sure that all layers is selected here. So if I will take the sample from this area by pressing alt key i will click and try to remove this spot but you can see clearly this area becomes dark this is happening because clone tool is just copying the source sample and adding in the destination i just did this to let you understand of course you will use close sample when you are using clone stamp tool control z undo let's see the healing brush if i will click and the healing brush tool and even if I will take the sample from this dark area by pressing alt key I will click and this time if I will repair this scratch here beautifully and smoothly we repair the spot so the functionality of the healing brush tool even you will take the sample from the dark area it will take the sample from the source and then blend it with the destination samples if I will press alt key and click and this is light area even still it will work fine this area let's try to repair with the healing brush press alt key and take sample that is okay this how healing brush is different from clone stamp tool now the next tool we have here is spot healing brush it is selected the functionality of the spot healing brush tool is it will take the sample around the target. Let's say here we have a spot alone and if I will click I don't need to press alt key or any other button from the keyboard. I will just click on this spot and Photoshop will take the closed sample around and it will repair the spot. If you are using spot healing brush tool you need to work on the image. Using healing brush tool you can clone the area in the new layer but spot healing brush will work with the image so I will come back to the image if I will click here with the spot healing brush it will detect the area around the target I don't need to press anything from the keyboard simply I need to click but make sure that the image is selected here in this area we have more scratches and they are close to each other so it is good idea to use healing brush tool or patch tool let's try healing brush and if you are using healing brush you can use the new layer this is what we used before press alt key now let's see the third tool that is patch tool here we have patch tool it is selected and make sure that patch source from destination is selected the functionality of the patch tool is you need to just make selection around the area and drag to the source and another thing while using patch tool you need to click on the image clone stamp tool and healing brush tool you can use on the new layer but patch tool once again it is similar to the spot healing brush tool you need to click on the image simply drag the selection around and move to the clean area 
you can continue now if I will make selection here the previous selection will be removed click and drag in our image there is some damages on the face this is also possible with the patch tool I will just make selection around and move it to the clean area and once you done press ctrl D to deselect or you can just click on select and deselect here we have another small scratch but it is close to the skin area and there is an edge if we will use healing brush tool to repair this I will go back to the new layer square bracket right and left next to the letter P you can use to reduce the brush size using healing brush tool if I will try to repair this area press alt key and take the sample click you can see clearly when we are moving the mouse close to the skin samples healing brush is taking some samples from this area and blending with the background so in this case healing brush tool is not suitable let's go back control Z here we can use clone tool let's select the clone stamp tool I will reduce the brush size and take sample by pressing alt key and simply click and drag you can see even I am close to the edges but still perfectly the area has been cloned because clone tool is just copying the sample from the source and adding in the destination without blending the area around so it is really important for you to know the basic functionality of these tools so in your image in different area you can decide that where and which tool you will use to work on you can open similar image in Photoshop and try to practice healing brush tool spot healing brush tool patch tool use also clone stamp tool if needed and it is not really important that the image you are choosing it should be the old image any image if there is some scratches or repair is required you can use patch tool and spot healing brush directly you can use on the image clone stamp tool and healing brush tool even you can use in the new layer that's all for now I hope you enjoyed this lesson and try to practice guys if you like my video please subscribe my channel and click on the bell button so you will always get notification once I will upload new video